Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that's been changed and fixed in Minecraft pre-release 3 for Minecraft 1.17, the first part of the Caves and Cliffs update. So just one day after pre-release 2, we already got pre-release 3, and we already know that the release date for Minecraft 1.17, the first part of the Caves and Cliffs update, is the 8th of June, and I will be live streaming on that day, so please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that live stream. Also, please like the video, that helps me out a whole lot and it takes you just a couple seconds so it would really be appreciated as well but let's just get started with pre-release 3 so there are a couple of changes here not only bug fixes so in the first pre-release for Minecraft 1.17 we saw that candles had a different texture when they were lit than when they were not lit so this is still the same but they have tweaked the textures for when the candles are lit so here we go these are now all the textures for the different candles previously these white candles had a way more yellow tint at the top and they've decreased the amount of yellow now and I think this is the same for pretty much all of these. They're just a little bit more realistic and less multiple colors which I thought was actually pretty cool but now this is all the textures for the different candles. So just a couple more. These purple ones I still think look very very nice. Brown ones, green, red and lastly the black ones which still have a pretty orange texture on top but not on the sides anymore furthermore another change is that now if goats attack mobs the mobs won't attack the goats back so we have some zombies here and we'll see that there we go when one of the goats attacks a zombie the zombie will not attack the goat back this did happen before but now the goats will not be damaged by any mobs when they attack them then it changed to the spawning of glow squid and axolotl both of these will now only spawn in total darkness and when there is natural stone block less than five blocks below the spawning space so for example inside the water they can spawn but only at the very bottom if there's stone at the very bottom i think we just saw some spawn right over here somewhere yeah here we go here are some glow squids that have stone below them and are in total darkness same thing goes for the axolotl as well and so those were the changes in pre-release 3 the data pack once again has not been updated but we'll probably see this again for of course the 1.18 snapshots and then there are just some bug fixes so previously if you held the lightning rod it would float if you saw yourself in third person but now you're just holding it in your hand baby axolotl should no longer despawn some bugs related to vines were fixed and also a lot of crashes were fixed as well and that is pretty much it. If you want to read through all the bugs, I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. If you like this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.17 and 1.18 news. And of course, so you don't miss the live stream next week, Tuesday, for the full release of Minecraft 1.17. I want to thank my tier 3 members, the Smickalar and Chong Chong Xiong Xiong. Thank you so much for becoming tier 3 members. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. There we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.